Good stuff happened on this card. I'm excited about, but coming back to American Top Team and you know having Amanda, Pedro, Santiago, all these people that I'm brushing shoulders with every day on the mat, sweating with every day, it makes fight week a little bit smoother running, like a well-oiled machine. I'm all these coaches that I'm seeing every day on the mats are here, all my training partners that I'm rolling around with and stuff, just being out there as a team feels good. I feel like my fan base probably, for the most part, except the new guys, this is a big year, so I have a big jump of fans this last maybe two years or so, but the guys who've been riding with me saw the Fightville documentary, me as a young fighter when I was an amateur, so they've got the whole journey to this point, so I think it's something special. If you've been on the train for that long, this is a special night next weekend. How resilient I was, how, how even though it got, times got dark, I never lost sight of the goal. And that I, I've created a beautiful life for my family with, with, with this. Just trying to, the growth and confidence from, since that fight, you know, I went into that fight confident. Um, I was fighting one of the best in the world. I knew, like I said a while ago, I knew anything could happen in any one of these fights. Um, but the growth is just learning from mistakes, slowing things down. You know, trying to get up on the fence when Khabib had my back and giving up my neck when I still had more rounds to go. You know, maybe losing the round compared to losing the fight. Should I have, have positioned myself better? You know, just been safe instead of I have to get up right now and put myself in harm's way. Just trying to balance everything, man. It's a lot of it's a juggling act with all these things going on. Not just the techniques, but the mindset and the time to take risks in the fight. I'm just trying to get better, learning, man. I mean, I take all losses tough. You know, they're hard to swallow, but I would say if you're talking about grieving, like grieving openly is a different thing. You know, if I'd have held it in and went back to my room and then put my head on my pillow, it's different. But being okay with expressing, every, letting everybody a peek into my mindset, how I really felt, not trying to be the tough guy or hold it in. You know, I think that for my fans and people who know me, they, they I don't know, it's hard to explain, but just to be myself and not try to hide any emotion to let you guys really open the window and see what I'm feeling is important. Yeah, no, I was happy for the guy. I'm a, I'm a fan of the sport. So when guys like Bisping, Ro Robbie Lawler, Charles, get their hands around a belt, you know, guys who've been put in, paying the dues and overcoming, you know, uh, when those guys make things like that happen, and it's a special, special night as a competitor. And uh, I'm happy for him. But at the same time, I'm sitting him sitting on my couch watching him hold that belt and I'm like that's my belt you know I've got to do this I have to do this I think somebody's gonna get finished I think it's gonna be pretty violent no way this goes 25 minutes um, two guys who don't play the point game go out there to try to finish each other and two of the best guys in the world obviously and two of the guys with the most experience this is a very very high level fight I think my uh, my track record if I can wrap that undisputed title around my waist, I become one of the best lightweight fighters to ever do it in history. One of the best mixed martial artists to ever do it in history. And I check a box that's at the top of my list is to be the undisputed world champion. I, I, I've done it all in the sport if I can get this belt wrapped around my waist. Because I've taken my lumps and picked myself up off the mat and dusted myself off time and time again and I'm bringing all this experience into this match with me. And I'm the best in the world. And I'm, I just know I'm gonna be the world champion. Destiny doesn't make mistakes.